missing from our children's lives. They are ours to protect. Public dancing among Beaumont's minors will be in violation of the law. Hi everybody, I'm here with two-time Dancing with the Stars champion turned actress Julianne Huff and her equally adept dancing co-star Kenny Wormold, both starring in the new film Footloose. Now I have to tell you, when I heard that you were doing a remake of one of my favorite films, I was a little bit skeptical, but you pulled it off. <laughs> As were Thank we. You. Yeah. When, when I first heard the news uh, uh, that they were making this film, I was like, wow, good luck with that, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm because it, so many people love the original as, as we did. So it's definitely, you know, you have to make it good. You can't mess this up because a lot of people would get mad. And I think that we did it a lot of justice. We had a great director in Craig Brewer. I don't know if you've seen his other work, Hustle and Flow, Black Snake Moan. Absolutely, absolutely. He's a true filmmaker, so they picked the right guy. And yeah. hopefully people think they picked the right um, actors for the film, because we're very proud. Three years ago, five seniors died in a car crash, coming home from a dance, and that's when the whole town went crazy. You want to go out and get some cheap thrills, you do it outside of Beaumont. How exciting was it for you, Julianne, to be part of this film that really has a real fond memory in a lot of people's hearts? Well, I grew up uh, in Utah where the first was, uh, the, where the original was filmed, and if you didn't see Footloose, then something was wrong with you. Like, it was like, <laughs> that was what you knew about Fo uh, Footloose in Utah. And uh, so, I don't know, being a part of this film was amazing to begin with. I was attached when it was going to maybe be a musical. And it was great, cool, that's awesome. But the fact that it's the way that it is now, it's very much to the T, uh, like the original. Mm -hmm. It's a drama with dancing in it. First down of the police, and I'm a full of blood. What, you can't keep up? What, am I grounded? Do I gotta go to prison? What, what am I gonna it? do with you? There's nothing to do, Daddy. This is it. As I was watching this film, I was seeing that there's so many parts of it that stand on its own, but yet pays significant tribute to the original. Absolutely. How important that was that for you and the director? I think it's vital, you yes. know, because a lot of remakes, they, they kind of stray away from anything that was in the original and they just throw the name on it. Yeah. So we didn't want to do that. And I know Craig Brewer, the director, didn't want to do that. Those iconic moments like like the, the suit, the red suit, and the, the bug, yes, the VW yeah. bug, and... There's just a lot of things that you can't leave out or else, you know, the original fans will be ticked off, I'd oh, say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you can get this baby running, she's all yours. Okay, the door sticks and uh, the gas pedal's missing. A couple of the, uh, it, it, hey, it's a fixer up. She's cute. You think everybody's cute? Hey, watch where you're going, little guy. Sorry, man, I didn't see you. Where are you from? You talk funny. I talk funny? Mm -hmm. You should hit you from my end. What's up, man? I'm Willard. I'm Ren. I'm McCormick. Now, Julianne, a lot of people know you, of course, originally from uh, being on Dancing with the Stars. For this role, you have to step into the, to the shoes, not only as a dancer, but also up your game as an actress. How challenging or daunting was that for you? It wasn't daunting at all. In fact, it was it was exciting and it was fun. This is, a lot of people don't know this, but this is, you know, the career path that I've always wanted. And um, I've been dancing, singing, and acting as long as you know, well, I've been singing and acting as long as I've been dancing. I've just always had the opportunities with the dancing, and that's how people discovered me. But I've, you know, I've always wanted to act, and I couldn't think of a better movie to, you know, expose myself in. You know, like I get to, I get to really act. What's the deal with the preacher's daughter? You think I'm small town, huh? Is she worth all that attitude? You want to say something? And Kenny, for you, when people think of Footloose, they of course think in the key role of Kevin Bacon. So what was it that you had to bring to the table? What quality to make the role your own? Well, we knew the original film so well just as fans, but once I booked the role, I didn't watch it and I didn't study it. I didn't want to I didn't want to mimic him, you know? The the main thing that's different, I'd say, is they changed the role from Chicago to Boston in our version because I went into the audition and speaking with a Boston accent, I didn't want to sound like the other guys that were auditioning. So that's the first obvious one. But, you know, it's a different story. Is is it's true to the original as it is. There's elements that are different, you know, some of the dialogue is different. So it didn't feel like we were mimicking, you know, I got the opportunity to kind of make Ren my own. What's the matter with you, huh? You drove two hours to get here. You're just gonna stand around and mope? Look, I don't dance. I don't dance. I can't dance. country 
line dancing. It's a white man's dream. Now, you both have significant dance background and also competing as well. So I have to imagine, or at least think, then when you were choreographing some of the scenes, was there a little bit of a competitive spirit among you and some of the other dancers coming up with, you know, a move that would outdo the other? No, the cool thing about our, our Footloose is, well, and the original, that these dancers are supposed to just be from Beaumont, this regular town. They're not supposed to be professional dancers. I'd say Ren is the only one who's like a dancer dancer, but, you know, there's all shapes and sizes dancing. Everybody says you're the man. The final piece to my master plan. You got my world in the palm of your hand. We kind of had to tone down um, yeah. kind of the, the perfection that we're used to doing and uh, it was it was kind of fun to do it that. Was, yeah. Yeah. What, you can't keep up? You can put on a show for that guy. Doesn't mean I'm gonna. Julianne, where do you maintain your passion for dancing? Because when you're doing something like this all your life. Oh my gosh, there's it's such an like a joy to dance. It's like people get the same feeling when they work out, you know, like they get those endorphins and it just makes your day better. Well, dancing for me is like crack for a drug addict. Like <laughs> sorry, that's terrible. No, it's but it's, it's like true. you get so addicted to it. Like I, I can't imagine not ever dancing again. Like I'm so I so love it. One final question. You two with this movie join a very unique group. You become Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Did that ever come up on the set? I have to imagine it did. Yeah, but I like to think I'm zero because I'm playing his role. Like, how, <laughs> it's my degree, you know? I think uh, we figured it out, though. We're like three, three because of Annie McDowell, and yeah. she did a film with someone who did a film with Kevin. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you put your own mark on this film, and you Thank did a you. great job. Thank you. So everybody, go out and check out the remake of the new film, Footloose. We've been talking with Julianne Huff and Kenny Wormald. I'm Tim Estilos for Boston Latino TV. I don't want you to see that boy. Why? Because I've heard he's trouble. Watch that attitude, son. Come on. We speak for this town because we are from here. I know you got to do what you got to do, but that ain't going to stop it from happening. There was once a time for that law. Not anymore. This is our time. We can come here to dance.